Hi, this is Mariah Lewis from WHYY, Young Journalist. Presently, I'm standing outside of Philly Chocolate, started by Michael Lewis and Johnny Colombo, considered to be one of Philadelphia's finest chocolate stores. Not only do they have exquisite chocolate, but a sister store, Philly Cupcakes. Both stores have a classy vintage design, which leads to a welcoming and memorable experience. Come follow me inside as we have an exclusive interview with Michael Lewis. Here we are with Michael Lewis, a co-owner of Philadelphia Chocolate. Michael and Johnny experienced a midlife crisis, which made them question what they wanted to do in their lives. Because they both enjoyed sweets and had heavy cooking influences as youngsters, they decided to quench their sweet tooths and open a Philly chocolate and cupcake. The movement from um, those kind of memories into, into doing a business that was fun, um, that was kind of a natural sort of of inclination that both he and I had to kind of move towards doing sweet treats that make people happy. Mike believes that his store's interior decorations are one factor that really set his store apart from other surrounding places. This was due to the fact that his partner, Johnny, was a vintage decorator for 20 years. It's, it's adorable. Uh, when I first walked in, that's what I noticed was the decorations and the vintage feel, and it was very warm and cozy. What we tried to do was to combine um, the fashion world with the baking world. And so you'll see a lot of our cupcakes are really done up high. A lot of people will say, your cupcakes are too pretty to eat. And we always say, uh, just take a bite of them <laughs> and, and see if you still say that. Michael demonstrates his creativity through all of the designs of the cupcakes and chocolate from both of his places. They get so creative where they have chocolate for even their alcohol. There's actually a piece of chocolate. It looks like a little cone, and you can bite off the end, drink the liquor that's inside, and then eat the chocolate. So those have been very popular. Um, and we have, so far, we've been working with different kinds of vodka flavors, like a, cup, a cake vodka, a pink lemonade vodka, and uh, the other one is a fig vodka. And they're all really, really tasty. Michael is very in touch with his customers and feedback. He and his partner strive to constantly please the customers and do it very naturally through the fun atmosphere they have created. We provide products that we know that they're going to like. We listen to their feedback about our products to make sure that they change with them. And because we're a small business, we can do that. We don't have a corporate mentality where we're just trying to, to get out a product. We love what we do. It gives us a lot of energy every day, and people feel that, and they want to be a part of that. They want to be in an environment where they can buy a product that makes them feel good, but also the people that are there make them feel good, too. So there you have it, Philly. Philly chocolate and cupcakes are thriving, even now in this economic crisis. Come down to their locations and find out why. This is Mariah Lewis reporting from WHYY Young Journalists.